Good morning, Monday morning. It's lovely to be with you again. I had a good time in church yesterday and uh, feel kind of refreshed and reinvigorated and uh, revitalised all the re's ready for the week. I don't know about you, but that's kind of how I see church working for me. I need church on a Sunday to kind of top me up and remind me of purpose, refresh me, so that I can then go out Monday to Saturday being who God calls and doing as I'm called to do, knowing that every Sunday, Sunday by Sunday by Sunday, I am refilled and refueled. So many re's. I don't know. How does church work for you? That wasn't what I came to talk to you about either. I came today to talk to you very simply to say thank you. I try to say thank you. I try to remember to say thank you whenever it is necessary and sometimes when it's not. I'm just reminded that everybody's working really hard at the moment and that there are lots of people stepping up and taking on new roles and trying new things. And there are people who are hanging on in there despite being afraid of some of the changes that are coming. I just feel I need to say thank you to you all. I know there are lots of jobs get done and I'm not sure that anybody ever really sees exactly who does how much. And the church running and our witness and our ability to be seen by the community in order for us to sort of demonstrate what it means to be Christian and to live in the love of God all hinges on the ability of people to volunteer and to minister. I'm not very keen on the word volunteer really. I think it um, it reduces the level of commitment. It doesn't do anything to indicate the purpose behind the offering. And I think I prefer the word ministry um, as, as a good demonstration of what it means to give yourself in a role into God's church. I have got a lovely poem I'm going to read you uh, by a poet called Jay Hume, who uh, is a very inclusive writer. That's the, the, the book. They're not sermons, they're poems. But listen to this. The poem is actually called The Volunteer. He walked in quietly, saw me sweeping the leaves from the porch and picked up a broom. And he smiled as he worked, carefully clearing the mud beneath each of the pews. He didn't give a name, but whistled softly, stopping out of respect if someone came in. It was only afterwards, when he handed back the broom, that I saw the scars. Bursts of white like stars blazing out from the centre of each palm. It's huge, isn't it? It comes in to that category of whoa moments. Um, that little passage in the Bible about uh, when we entertain strangers. We are entertain. We may be entertaining angels in our midst. And I just think, gosh, if we are able to consider all of those things that we do for church, for God, to be done in His sight and with His support and encouragement and help, does that set a different tone to what we do and why we do it? Huge, huge questions. I'm going to reflect on them. And I would love to hear what you have to say about them. I hope you have a really good day today. You are in my prayers and uh, I'm sure I shall see some of you. Lots of love and God bless. Bye bye.